Hello, it's me, Terry Lynn. God has provided my milk today. Hallelujah. In the land of milk and honey. And you know, thank you, God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit, for my milk that you have provided for me today. And much more. Hello. Listen, America needs help. Okay? There are many people that are suffering in America. Okay? Listen to me. When you read your Bibles, it says, you know, fornicator, adulterer, and certain things will never enter the kingdom of God. Well, the government is not protecting our nation. When this nation was first founded and really developed and we began to have a White House and things like that, the president and all was to help people not get in trouble on Judgment Day and help souls be able to go to heaven. We need somebody to overlook the souls of America. And I believe I have what it takes along with others. We have to close facilities that will get people to go to hell. We have to protect the people of America. There are people that died without God and Jesus or died in sin and it's not right. And the government has caused this by not allowing things to line up to the Word of God. Our nation developed with people like Christopher Columbus, who was a Christian, and, and, and the people from the Mayflower, and uh, George Washington helped to get the uh, White House established and things like that. We are a Christian nation. We are to stay a Christian nation. And anybody who's against Christ cannot run our nation. Okay? I'm ready to defend the American people. I don't want to see anybody go to hell. I love the American people. I am an American. Okay. My mother was born in Italy. My dad, American. I was born in America. Okay. The American people need a leader that will help them to not get in trouble on Judgment Day and not go to hell. Our children need help. Our educational system, our police, our military, and more. Okay. We need to line things up to the Word of God. Now we see that President Obama has passed rules that are against the Bible and causing people to go to hell. I'm asking for Governor Corbett and others to back me to protect America. Also, we have people that are starving, people that came from families where the parents did drugs or were irresponsible, which made the kids get involved with gangs, drugs, alcohol, and lost or, 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 or prostitution. It's not their fault. I have ministered to people that had parents that really were a problem that ended up getting converted and went to live for the Lord. And they needed like a mentor. Okay? And I, even by prayer sometimes, with me saying nothing and just praying for people, people have gotten their lives together and escaped wicked appearance. Just because your dad or mom didn't do right doesn't mean you're going to not do right. And remember this. Some of the greatest of saints suffered things. And even in the Bible, some of the greatest chosen people even sinned or were confused or tripped up. Other people usually caused it. I have suffered in this nation as a young girl because I know the truth of the gospel. And when I get full of the Holy Spirit, I come out. I don't see the women with prayer veils. I don't see the Sabbath being kept holy. I don't see the dead being raised and the miracles and stuff. And I was travailed and disturbed. But now... I am asking for you to help me to lead America, along with others, that when American people die, they will have a chance to not be in trouble on Judgment Day and go to heaven, and for the justice of the dead Americans, that we're not protected with the true gospel. Call me, and let's help each other. 267-909-9168, because why should we Christians live in an ungodly nation any longer? We won't, and we must defend the Constitution, the Gospel of Christ, and America. And this day I declare, we want President Obama removed.